Hey! Hi! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Hello! How are you doing today? It's nice to see you again. Now, I'm making this video not really out of popular request, but simply because it got a shitload of views. You guys all liked it. I'm pretty much. <laughs> Hello! How are you doing today, guys? It's nice to see you. Fuck! Hello, how are you doing, guys? It's nice to see you today. I'm making a video out of not really popular request. I'm sure you heard this before. Um, but simply because it got a shitload of views on my channel. You guys loved it. And I actually quite enjoyed making it. Because it takes some thinking from me to make. And that's how everyone can get a knife. Something that I do hope we'll be able to achieve. Because I hate whingers and people who are desperate for a knife. It's not going to change you. It's an awesome thing to have. But really, people are obsessive about it. And I want to meet their cravings by helping you guys get a knife. So today, specifically, we're going to be focusing on the look of skins. Float value, wear, whatever you want to call it, even the quality of it. You can use this to your advantage. Trade up your inventory, make some easy money out of the people who have a less of an understanding of it than you. This is, however, despite a greater understanding of it growing in the community. I mean, you can check float value from ma ma uh, market now, I think. I mean, that's crazy. That's something that never would have happened. A year or so ago so I'm gonna try and show you how you can still exploit this today with some very popular skits now I would like to start today off with one of my own skins it's actually my orb item of battle scarred I have had this for probably the longest time it's my longest serving item in my inventory simply because I love it so much people will look at this skin and think the fuck field tested orb item of awesome but it's actually battle scarred and look at it super clean it's really fucking nice and I'm not gonna try and blow up my own skins today for you but I just want to show you how you can kind of just exploit this back in the day I got this for 16 keys which was cheap I mean all passmos were expensive back then usually going for about 20 keys for good luck so I made a fair bit of money on this now at the moment however an all passmo of battle scarred goes for about 16 pounds on the market now, if you look at that, the first few that are here, they all look like, well, shit. And if you look at that compared to mine, mine's much closer to a field tested. I don't know the specific wear of this, but if you just look how clean it is around the front and the scope, that makes all the difference. Now, you may be asking, how the hell do you make money with this? It's just a skin that looks really nice. Well, if you do scroll down the market, there comes a point in which, what? Well, does there really well no 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 it doesn't these skins are really hard to find a good looking orb asimov battle scarred will obviously not go for as much as a field tested which is currently at 24 pounds wow that's cheap oh my god really wow that aside there's basically this eight pound gap between them and I would expect someone on CS Go Lounge specifically to pay about £20 for a really nice looking one who doesn't want to spend £24 unnecessarily for a field tested. Now to be able to get your whole get your hands on one of these it's going to take a lot of market watching and maybe some CS Go Lounge checking all the time looking for someone who's putting one on for a bit less than expected. So all you have to do really is keep checking the market occasionally looking down at the cheapest and seeing if there's a good look that you think you'll be able to sell for a bit more than people are quick selling it for. It's as simple as that, really. Now, something a bit nicer in context, at the lower end of the scale, which you can start off trading up to go and get your knife, is the M4 Asimov Battle Scarred. Asimovs are so good at this because their wear heavily depends on how nice they look. So if you look at a couple of them down here, at the really cheap end, they've got shit stickers on, they're really, they're really scratched. They're nasty. And then I think it's about, I think three pages in, the price jumps to about £11. And if we look at the £11 ones, they're a lot cleaner suddenly. And I mean, these are all clean, except for that one. Don't look at that one. <laughs> these are all nice and so much cleaner than the others. Now it's only a £2 price difference. And that doesn't really look that great after tax as well. But if you can make 
a pound, a couple of pounds, a few pounds a day searching the market for some maybe very nice looking ones on this first page for around nine pounds. They might pop up and sell really quickly. If you can get your hands on one of those quickly, there's an extra couple quid in the bank for you to help trade you up to a knife. Now, my third kind of skin example for today, and probably the last one I think I'm gonna be able to find on how to invest. I think the Asimovs are by far the best, but this is still good, it's the AK Redline. Now, if you look at this, this is a field tested. It only has scratches here and here. It looks really clean, right? Now, this is at the bottom end of the market. This was this one. But if we look around the market a bit more, we can eventually find eventually find a more scratched one. Now these will be more scratched around here and frankly if you can see a bunch of these around the bottom of the market and you find it hard at that point in time it's very situational. There might be a day where this is really awful to do or a day where it's really good but quite often you'll see these crappy ones filling the market and nobody wants these. Everyone wants the minimal wear look because it just turns it into a much nicer skin. There's an. That one's slightly scratched. I think people will still avoid that. But if we're looking at the really nice ones here, if you can pick them up for cheap and then sell them for maybe 50p more, which is quite risky, but at the same time, depending on the time of day, it might pay off. I've never tried it. It's a good way of investing in those rather cheap skins. Like this is only three pounds. If you do this a lot of times, you can make some quite decent profit. Honestly, it's quite hard, but you know, I hold my hands up and think it's a theory, it might work. Now I do expect this to be very easy. Something that a lot of people can do with a variety of skins. Now I'm gonna, not just going to show you everything. Obviously there's more expensive like the M9 Crimson webs and stuff like that. Quick show of mine that you might have seen before. This is a field tested but it's very nice and close to the minimal wear look. Well worth investing if you've got a bit more money. But seeing as we're talking about the cheaper end of the spectrum, knives and how to get them, this website CSGO Exchange is honestly the best if you want to try and find nice float values or just peruse what kind of skins might be heavily dependent on their wear that you might be able to invest in. Basically, all you have to do is go to the item database and search by pattern, and it will show you the least float value first, which is something I might come on in a later video on investing on the lowest float value skins on the market. Because a lot of skin monkeys like that kind. Now, before I go, I want to quickly talk about a slight warning, something that YouTubers have been talking about recently after the M4 and the A1S update where the a1s went really cheap and lots of youtubers were buying them in large amounts now that they're cheap for them to later go up in price i think they're starting to balance out and look at this like seriously the m4a1s is not going to go back up in price anytime soon i would recommend buying one if you want a cheap skin to use you're using the a1s fine go out and buy one you may get lucky in the future and they may go up in price but as a warning my voice is going fucking. Do not try and buy these for investment. It's not going to work and you're not going to make the money that you're looking to make because there's not going to be an update soon which suddenly increases the fire rate. It's, it's not a good investment. Stick away from it. And I hope this video helped. In the end of the day, it's another of what I was just doing before. I think this might be a bit more in depth to something closer to my heart. But I hope you've got some good tips from this and I'll see you in the next video.